Okay, let's go. Arcane horror, I hate you. I hate all the arcane horrors. I highly doubt you can be put to sleep, but I might as well try. Why not? Mm, let's try to do waking nightmares on it. Why not? Quiet now. I just resist in you. Let's do this. Right. That one's at least a good one. You can do this one. Ah. Apparently a fireball. Oh yeah, I remember you now that I see this stuff happening. I remember you, you got the annoying arcane horror of uh, annoyances. Well, good thing to now remember it better. Okay. Actually, you will take care of that then, and you will come here to help. Help out a little bit. I you can just go there, it's no problem. <laughs> it's just all the time moving, so it's really not easy to try to actually kill it like this. But, well, we'll see. Very well. I don't remember what would be the exact good way to do things. Stay here. Well, I guess I will know anyways how to stay here exactly. Uh, paralyzed is not good. Or actually it's the other one. Yes. So it means that we should be yeah. doing something like uh, this one for Alistair. So that he will at least not be taking damage. There. Okay. Take some more of this Lyrium. Think we will be needing it. Not that one, this one. I guess I have stopped him from being able to take the healing either. No, I'm pretty sure he can take some healing. That's really annoying that those uh, plasts are coming to you. You're gonna die if you don't take a healing potion like right about now. I think you would need to take a little bit better healing potion. But I guess we will have to redo this because this isn't uh, working at the moment, obviously enough. I guess as long as I just got him once, it was basically enough. Looks like it anyways. Very nice. Do the Affliction Hex. Go. Do another healing potion. Alistair is finally free, which is cool. You could come into here actually now. And you can just kill this slowly but surely. Actually, uh, I would like to do the Holy Smite on this though, first. Okay, now you teleported again, but... At least that's a lot better situation than it was before. Not you, Alistair. That's not what I asked you to do. Someone has to take care of also the, all the small little things, so please don't go there. Stay here. It's always annoying when it's like... <sighs> then doesn't want to be staying in the place I would like to. Have them stay. Okay, you go here then. Uh, you go here. You go here. You are still there. Actually, Alistair, come here. Uh, 
you can fight these all the undeads in here. I don't know what happened there, but fine enough. Stay there. And everyone stay in somewhere. Okay. That's the worst place for it to go in, but considering uh, it's Morricon in here, but. <laughs> That is no good. Actually do this for yourself, just so that you will for sure be safe in there and it can't do anything to you. Then it can't do anything. Anything at all. It's almost dead. We're doing okay. Just kill it. Kill it to the end. It's so close to being dead now. Yes. It's dead. Morrigan is able to say stay safe for a little bit longer. Uh, it's all good. Cool. We managed to beat it, but it was a tough battle. This arcane horror was a tough, tough monster to deal with. <sighs> Specifically when it was all the time teleporting just every time every single time just a teleport after teleport after teleport there are enemies there that i guess i will have to deal with first before i can yes. actually save would like to be able to save though uh i looked at the wrong person before clearly because this guy has uh, all of these uh, lots of cool stuff with it hmm So, what shall we delete? What would not be important in the least? Some of those shields are also not very good, that's for sure. And some of these gold rings and so on aren't really anything special by any means. It's weird that this book is even taking us one space from our inventory, but so it is. Yeah, should have sold. I thought that surely I'll have a great amount of space still for a long time, but certainly wasn't the truth. Um, maybe if I just quickly go then and um, use a couple of these traps that I only have one of, even though these are definitely no not good against undead, but whatever. Doesn't matter that much. I got caught by that trap. That's fine, though. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. At least I was able to use something away. Sure, I'll try to place it underneath you. <laughs> More acid. Well, at least I used those couple of things, so I have two more space for certainty. Yes. Not for all of this thing, clearly still, but better than nothing. Okay, so what shall I use away? Hmm. Excellent question. That's a silverite, nonetheless, so it's made of a little bit more special material. I guess one of these bows, maybe, like the scout's bow, isn't very special. It's made of iron bark. When this is made of white wood, it is actually more damage than the scout's bow like this, so I don't know. It's tough. It's a th difficult thing to say sometimes. Let's destroy that one, sure. But again, doesn't really... Uh, help us too much because then we would need to load all, uh, everything from the future anyways That does have a way to go forward so we shouldn't go to the fearful flare yet anyways So let's go quickly explore this other side. This is an interesting globe here though 
Certainly very interesting looking. Very interesting. <sighs> Dagger of red steel. Do I have them already? I would have thought that I could have had some daggers that are made of red steel already, but clearly I have Darmisus, not daggers. <laughs> What's the difference between a Darmisu and a dagger? Don't ask me, because I have no clue. These are all silverites. Made out of silverite anyways. Uh, 699, 498, only the defense value of that, so sure, let's throw that away. But I should throw something more, but if only I knew what exactly would be the best to throw. Mutant's Blessing, of course I wouldn't, because that's actually a, a quite special one. But Clan Shield, for example, isn't very special looking one, so sure, I'll throw that at least away. The winter shields. Ah, tough, tough things to decide. I could give this immediately to Alistair because I know that he likes this stuff. So sure, even though I don't like giving gifts in here, but is that for me? Really? Wow! I'm wow. Wow, indeed, it is indeed for you. Uh, don't think you have. I have anything that would. Be something you would like specifically. Uh, Morrigan, on the other hand, maybe the silver medallion. Large silver medallion, sure. A fine gift. Yeah. You have my thanks. You're welcome. Um, fancy scroll. Understand, Grace is, is wrong to give to anyone else than just an only um, Liliana. Hmm. It is a cool, cool painted sky, Paul. That's of course I know who wants that. Oxbone. Do you want Oxbone? Maybe, maybe our Doko will actually go for the Oxbone from your backpack next time, rather than all the other stuff. Uh, <laughs> let's give this, I guess. Why not? Interesting. Yeah, at least it's an interesting thing. At least you get one more extra point. Wow, amazing. Well, where we go, get some more stuff. Stuff after stuff after stuff. Legacy white shear, peculiar and rare, a single run of the spirit to color and what has optimistically been called flavor from Lyrion in the cask spilled soup. A sip in whiskey if you value your inner, it's circa 790 tea. Okay. That's a interesting, interesting trink, apparently. And an ancient elven armor, apparently. Interesting, too. Apparently has a codex information. Before the fall of Arlatan, even before Arlatan itself, the civilization of the elves stretched across all of Titus like a great, indolent cat. This armor was made for, our, for temple gods in a time when the creator still spoke to the elves. The techniques of its forging, even the name of the metal in its forged from, have long since faded from memory. Cool. Cool stuff. Uh, let's check. I should give you already Okren that one because, well, obviously you're the you're the one that should be getting it. That looks fine indeed. <laughs> should look fine indeed. Hmm. That's all I can do with that. And I'm off. Computer is, I guess, working a little bit slow right now. Maybe I should restart the recording. It's definitely plausible. I am also, even though I never like to do it, I never like to go back to the camp to just do some selling, but I am definitely considering it, because then at least we don't have to worry about the stupid having too much stuff to carry around. So I could still do it quickly and then just come back here to you guys rather than having to go with too much loot in here. 
but it is a long travel especially when we can't straight go and travel there so i guess i'll just throw away some more stuff when we need to do so so let's just go let us go that's just a reinforced leather helm anyway so who cares deep mushroom we at least can take And uh, we can take everything other than the god darn diamond. I can't really leave the diamond though. So what will I do then? Now that's a good question. The iron rings aren't worth much. Definitely. Hmm. And I left so much stuff before away too. And already having too much. Sure, let's destroy the small shield. Why not? Yeah, that's one something that I left on purpose. It's kind of actually difficult to find the right way in here. Um, I guess it's into here, yeah. Even though it's very strange because this does definitely look like uh um pool of water so i guess we have to swim to it to be able to get to the fairfall slayer all right yep in their first homeland arlat and Ellis were immortal indeed they did advanced culture and language sad times and here we are a lair of the fables of course, if I could happen to be open a way straight into a location where, uh, well, corpse skull, at least we can easily carry because it's the same stuff we would have required all the time, a long time ago. But I think I already very much returned all of it, so no need to worry about that. And all the fearfuls coming and happily attacking us. Let's see. Do this. All right, you can do some of. Actually, let's do this. And let's do then this. Some of them at least should be having some difficulty of just starting to go and attack us. Uh, let's use the lesser health bottles, it's not like we have to be having those especially at this situation. Plus, they take space, so makes sense to do maybe something about it. Even more of them, which is a little bit problematic. Sure, Let's blast them away. And, um... T -t 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 let's see, what should I do then otherwise? It's a little bit too late to do any more this sort of stuff. Or this either, to be honest, I feel like. Especially because Okran is all the way over here. So it doesn't seem to really be the right thing to do. Just Ready. Use the Lyrian potion. Resisted stunt. One of them resisted, however. I would use more of those if I could. Let's use one of these so they come to some use. You can use a lesser help bottle as why not? Uh, he's been overwhelmed, so we do have to heal him at least a little bit. Not you, actually, Okren. Okren might still fall because yeah, that's a that's a lot of attacks. 
You should go there. Definitely, I'd say. I wish I could do something about that situation, but I can't exactly. I can't do too much about that either, that he's uh, about to be doomed. Because, yeah, I don't have the healing skills yet, and I can't do the, this one, so... Don't think I can do too much about that. Yep. Couldn't do too much anymore at that point. Heal Alistair. I wish I could do something about that stuff, but I can't yet. I can't really see anything. <laughs> Alistair got up at least. You should don't. Because they are clearly uh, attacking Morrigan, who I would like them not to attack. Quite of a bit. Guess that guy has to be still asleep or something, considering he's not doing anything. Shadowfolk went into shadows, which isn't too surprising. Can I actually get through here? Okay, we survived at least, even though I really didn't do any specifically big amount of work in that, but it was okay enough. It went fine at the end of the day. Uh, I don't actually even need that. Who needs that sort of a thing? Yes. I, that's the thing that I wasn't supposed to loot. Needed that. Okay. So only the lesser spirit things left. And those I am not planning to use. Or take. For that matter. No need to. Sure, I can take a deep mushroom at least. Those fit easily enough into our Don't situation. As in, into our inventory. Yay! Trap disarmed and Ogren gained a level up as a result. So, I guess you can take some more strength and... Hmm. Sure, there's more strength. Let's see, you have all of that stuff already, so you really don't need it. And you don't specifically need that, so I guess you will also take some of the champion stuff, because why not? Even though it feels a little weird to also have you have it, but at least there's two different people then that can use it. It's just not something that I can uh, and I'm off. really not. Uh, like it, it, Neither of the two other things doesn't make sense, as in taking shield and sword things, or... I guess uh, if I would want to be using ranged weapon attacks, but I don't really want to use ranged weapon attacks with him, so... Yes. Then it doesn't make sense. Okay, then another little pile of chunk. Uh, large dark spawn shield. Doesn't really matter, does it? Don't want to still throw this away, even if maybe I could. Could throw some of the traps away, I guess. If I really wanted to. Dagger red steel or that red steel? What do rather keep around? Eh. Can't be helped. Some of that stuff will be left behind. It's only going to be cash anyways because I wouldn't ever use it. So in that sense, it's not really a big loss. Like sure, you can always use more money, but it's nothing necessary. And plank vellum is also basically just a little bit of money. So nothing special left behind. Nothing of specials. Yep, we are approaching the, the main thing. Let's go. Stop! Brothers and sisters, be at ease. We do not wish any more of our people hurt. 
I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parley? I have told you already many times that I am okay to try to talk first and foremost so we can figure out things. Why are you attacking on all that? Who are you? I am merely another of the cursed who guards the entrance to our sanctum. I have been sent to parley. Okay, well, we are talking right now, aren't we? So talk. Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. She means you no harm, provided your willingness to parley in peace is an honest one. All right. Mm. If you were willing to talk, why didn't you earlier? Swift Runner did not think it would matter. The lady disagrees. And since you have forced your way this far, we must acquiesce to her wishes. Hmm. So is your lady... Uh, is your lady Vitervang? She is not Witherfang. But she can tell you of Witherfang if you ask. But first, you must agree to parley. Okay. So why doesn't this lady come and speak to me herself? We would not let her. We will protect our lady to our last breath. It may yet come to pass that you will kill the rest of us. But until then, we will not chance her coming to harm. I can understand. And how do I know I won't be walking into another ambush? What would be the point? You have already proven your strength. We have no wish to anger you further. All right, so then take me to this lady. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the Fade itself to see you pay. Understood. They be angry. And she's the lady, clearly enough. I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the lady of the forest. Lady of the forest. Hmm. <laughs> Ruined to me. Ah, that's uh. <laughs> It's kind of funny. I almost tempted to say it. So you're what the Fairfuls have been keeping down here. They come to me, and I remain with them, that is true. But I am no prisoner, nor a valuable to be guarded jealously. Do not listen to her, lady. She will betray you. We must attack her now. Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that, is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. And the time has come to speak with this outsider. To set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift on his behalf. He struggles with his nature. It is okay. Uh, no. As do we all, lady. Truer words were never spoken. But few could claim the same as these creatures, that their very nature is a curse forced upon them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. Well, I'm not surprised about that. It didn't really seem that he would necessarily care to tell everything, but... He told what he believes, I guess, at the very least. He wasn't 
I don't know if he believes anything... Well, yeah, I, I still think that he told everything that he believed was important, but it doesn't mean that that's necessarily the case. Mm. How do you know what he has or has not told me? Because there are things that he would not tell. Things that you should decide for yourself, whether you need to know. It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. <sighs> the humans tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. That is certainly a terrible thing, however, so it's no surprise that he would not have been able to deal with it really uh, very well, considering it was uh, his family. And so Satrian cursed them, I take it. Satrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of a great wolf. So Witherfang came to me. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and savage creatures. He was twisted and savage just as Witherfang himself is. <laughs> and yet they call it human nature. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady. You gave me peace. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. Hmm. I can understand. Um. Hmm. So why didn't you rejoin the human society? They are still cursed, mortal. The best deal side of their nature cannot be denied, and this places them forever outside of the company of their people. We seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who were long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. Hmm. <laughs> that is quite a lot to go indeed, actually. Yeah, just let's actually kill the elves to go completely all of them. <sighs> hmm. I think he just wishes to cure his own people, nothing else. Yeah, he doesn't really pay attention to them. I don't think at the moment he cares, but it doesn't mean that we couldn't try to get him to care. Because yeah, it is something that has happened a really, really long time ago. And these werewolves, from what I understand, aren't the same people who actually did it. Terrible things were done. I understand that he wanted to harm them. I, I don't think that he even knew that it would actually curse these people. He probably just wanted Winterfang to come and kill the humans that were in here, slash drive them away, because they had done horrible, horrible things. But these 
got cursed instead and uh, it's not something that they anyone should have to go through especially when they are not the ones anymore that actually committed the crimes so yeah it would be nice if he could see it if he could be brought to understand a little bit more so yeah he will never break the curse my lady he will never allow it you know this we cannot know that surely his rage does not run so deep he would endanger his own clan if zathrian comes i shall summon witherfang i possess that power I also have the power to ensure Witherfang is never found. Tell Zathrian this. If he does not come, if he does not break the curse, he will never find Witherfang, and he will never cure his people. Hmm. And what if there is no way to break the curse? I believe there is. There must be. If there is no way that he dies, then they all die. Hmm. Well, very well. I will call to Satrian and tell him this. Then we shall await your return. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. Okay, we shall do so then. I shall see you as soon as possible. Quest updated. Yes, I can have a look. Though, I don't really have the possibility to carry almost anything. I guess I can take the ice arrows at least. Woohoo! What say the you? The passage just outside of this room is open to you now, and it will lead you to sunlight. Go, Go. and return quickly. And return with we Zathrian. are eager to see Zathrian face to face another. after we all this time. We shall see an end to this curse today. Indeed, one way or another, we shall do so. Yes. One way or another. Leather gloves, not too big of a deal to leave them behind, anyways. I just can't say no to at least going and looking into this. At least that's just a deep mushroom, so I can actually carry it with me. Nothing there, so. Let's go. Let's take the easy way out. And uh, head back to the elven village. Although I would remember that he probably was actually close to this area already. So that we don't have to travel all the way to. But I'm not 100% certain. But I just have a feeling that it was the case. But we shall see. We shall see. Anyways, if not, at least I can sell stuff. So there would be that bonus. But there he is. I had a feeling that he was close by. I just recalled such a thing. Ah, and here you are already. Indeed we are. Somehow I figured I'd find you here. Did you? Aren't you the intuitive one? There was no way to tell what would happen once you reached this ruin, so I decided to come myself. Okay. We need to talk, you and I. Yes, yes, there will be plenty of time for that. Did you acquire the heart? No, I didn't. You didn't? May I ask then, why are you leaving the ruin? Mm. So you knew about this ruin, why didn't you tell me? There was no need. I knew you would find it, and I did not care to give you a history lesson about things that have no bearing on your purpose here. But it seems the spirit convinced you to act on her behalf. Might I inquire what she wants? What is it you think she wants? To survive, I suspect. That is the common nature amongst all such creatures. The will to survive. You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? I thought as much, yes. Yes, I thought as much. 
She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both, two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. <sighs> yeah. The curse came first from you, however. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. Um... I assure you, the Fairfuls have regained their minds. Even so, they are still the same worthless creatures that their ancestors were. They deserve nothing more than the misery they possess. This is not your battle, Grey Warden. Let us just take the heart and be done with it. Could you please at least talk? Do you still have so much hatred after all this time? You were not there. You did not see what... what, what they did to my son. To my daughter. And so many others. You are not Dalish. How can you know how we had to struggle to be safe? How could I have let their crimes go unanswered? I understand, but it was a long time ago and these are not the same people. But those crimes were committed centuries ago. I remember them as if it were yesterday. Even if they are more than animals now, they desire nothing but revenge. They will never let my clan be. That's actually not the case. So your answer is to let them suffer forever? Tell me, if you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? I might have, but who is being punished now? Very well. You wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? If that is what they do, then yes. I will, unless you are the one that attacks first. I fail to see the purpose behind this, but... Very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. Indeed, let's do so. So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the lady of the forest. You will address her properly. You've taken a name, spirit? And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages. Worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit. As is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? Mm, he said he summoned you and bound you to a wolf. And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being. But such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian, but that is not true. 
So long as the curse exists, so do you. No, that is not how it is. I guess he just... He doesn't want to believe that he is bound to her as well. It's just how far will you go for your, for your revenge, Sastrian? I did it for my people. I did it for my son and my daughter. For them, for justice, I would do anything. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! You see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way. <sighs> mm. You and the curse if I have to force you myself. W will I do that? Uh, or just that I won't help you do this? Um, <sighs> I don't care, Satrian. I won't help you do this. This is wrong. We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. Sad times. I probably haven't done this path, however, before, because usually I think I have, um, well, I don't remember, to be honest. It's been a long time, that's the main issue with this. It's a difficult thing to remember everything, after all. It's difficult. Sure, go to Satrian. He's the main foe here after all. Wish that I could somehow just stop him, but I can't exactly do that after all. I shall do it. Stop that one at least. You can do the taunt. Should be a fine enough uh, decision to do. Whenever I can actually move, would be cool, but I can't at least at this moment in time be. Stop him from doing his spells. Do a mind blast, because why not? Then he can be real stunned. Alistair really needs some help. Actually, I probably should give this to Alistair so he will be safe for now. Because, yeah, otherwise he might be in a little bit of a trouble. Oh, Krenad, let's kill one of the trees. Good job in the meantime. No, no more. I... I cannot, cannot defeat you. Finish it. Kill him now. No. I Gesture deserves worse than this. Start with his toes and work your way up. Nah. No, Swift Runner. We will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? True. I cannot do as you ask, Spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I, I cannot do it. He's so right because of my spell. Hasn't this gone long enough, Satrian? Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. 
It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? He's like a devil. You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. Aww. You shame me, spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end to it all. Yay! Goodbye to both of you. At least you can finally join your family. The goddamn marking of the death from my assassin. Still mark for death. Yeah, this way that one girl would have been, like, who was a fair it's would have been free. over. She's gone. And, and we're human. I can scarcely believe it. Hmm. So, what are you going to do now? We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We will never forget you. It's very nice of you to at least have uh, been summoned some clothes too at the same time. Oh, Krin disapproves though. Uh, would have liked to kill the... kill... him. <sighs> yeah, return to the elves and tell them of Satrian's sacrifice. I am... because I wasn't... I didn't remember at all if there would be shats after that or not. But yeah, it's difficult to know or remember for a certainty, Going. obviously enough. To be continued with Kiderusha next time in Dragon Age.